More and more, data is being used in society to make decisions that impact people's lives. This could be the type of bank account you can open, or what school catchment area you're in. Although it feels like decisions are made using computers and data should be logical and unbiased, the humans gathering the data and choosing what to analyse can be biased, even when they try not to be. OK, so we need learners to be critical about the data they use and careful about the data they gather and analyse themselves. Learners need to be aware of their rights concerning personal data privacy. We need to help learners to be fair and think how others can be impacted by the decisions made using data. Yes, that's right. Data ethics is quite a complex topic, but it can be taught in a stage-appropriate way. In the data cycle, learners need to be aware of bias at each stage, because unfairness can emerge unintentionally. This could be through the analysis techniques chosen or errors in the original dataset. An example of an error could be if learners were looking at a dataset that asked people in a school if they had any food allergies. But it turns out that the data was collected when pupils were paying for their lunch at the canteen. The dataset missed out on those participants who bring a packed lunch. Many people who bring a packed lunch may be doing so because of food allergies. OK, and in everyday life, how can we teach learners how data can be used ethically? In everyday life, learners need to understand how computer algorithms are used to make decisions, how accurate these decisions are, and the trade-offs involved in this decision-making. These decisions are often based on automatic data analysis performed by computer algorithms. But these algorithms are written by people first, and people can be biased. We can teach learners how to be aware of their rights and responsibilities about personal data privacy. And this includes data protection laws, such as the General Data Protection Regulation. Learners need to consider who they trust with their data and how they make those decisions. Exactly. And learners need to distinguish between the data they knowingly give out, data traces which are gathered in the background as they use devices, and data which can be inferred by putting together different data sources. An example of this could be their music recommendations on their favourite streaming app. The app might suggest music that is similar to music they're already listening to. This is an example of data that they knowingly give out. In the background, the app could also be tracking your location, so it might show you music that is popular in that location. This is data which is gathered in the background as you use your app. But your data from another app can then be used on the streaming app to decide what ads to show you. Yes, this is a good example of how your data can be used. This is data ethics because the person may not know that the data is being collected from them. It's important when teaching learners about data literacy and data ethics for learners to be critical. This doesn't mean they should not trust the data but they should consider bias, fairness and trade-offs that could have been made in the data collection or analysis stage.